Buoyancy control is without a doubt the hardest diving skill to master. But once you have learned how to do it, diving becomes a lot more fun. Johan of Dive Adventures gives some practical tips for improving your buoyancy control. That can also come in handy for the more experienced divers. Hi Johan, welcome back to our Hello. studio. Um, today's topic is buoyancy control. One of the most important things in diving, but also the most difficult, I think. Yeah, of course. So buoyancy is important. Why? Because when you're diving, it's, you're not allowed to touch the, the coral or the bottom. Or mm -hmm. That's why it's important. So many beginning divers have problems with the, the buoyancy. And yeah, that's why you have to learn it, in fact. Okay. So, yeah. And how do we do it? Well, how do we make sure we keep in control? In fact, there are three um, pillars mm -hmm. on, on which the, the buoyancy uh, rests, in fact. So one of the most important things is the, the trim, what we call. So the, the position of the body in, in the water. It has to be horizontal. Mm -hmm. The second point is the, the weighting, the, the proper weighting. Mm -hmm. So many divers have too, many, too much weight or not enough. Yeah. So that's also important. And the third thing is the, the breathing, the breathing control. So okay. the, all those three things are, yes, uh, important for the, the perfect points, in fact. But let's start with the trim. Yes. So first of all, we have uh, what I told, the position of the body. Mm -hmm. So the position is like uh, a cyclist or a race car. It has to be streamlined. Mm -hmm. So if you're diving like this, you're not streamlined. That means that you have much resistance from the water. And uh, secondly, you're, you're kicking with the fins uh, all the sediment also. So mm -hmm. that's not good. So you have to be horizontal. Mm -hmm. But also, I'm coming to the second point now. That this also has to do with the weights, of yeah, course. Balance weight, yeah. uh, a lot of if you, the weights are mostly in the middle of your body. So mm -hmm. if you have too much weight, it pulls you down like this and you're getting in a more vertical position. Mm -hmm. So that's not good. Also, the position of the weight on your body is important because if your the weight is at more like on the head side, then you go like this. Mm -hmm. It's more like on the feet, then you go like this. So it has to be somewhere neutral mm -hmm. so that you're perfectly in balance, in fact. Yeah. Is that also the reason why most BCDs jackets have those small pockets to put weights in? Yes, so normally uh, we have what we call the trim pockets. So mm -hmm. we have trim pockets uh, behind at the tank, you have trim pockets uh, here uh, and more at the parts, the, the sides of the body, mm -hmm. everywhere. So that's um, the BCDs and the modern BCDs uh, have Yes, many places where you can put so you can the, the weight. The yes, weight. That's, yeah. that's the idea. Yeah. So that also helps. Of course. But yeah. then you're horizontal. Mm -hmm. But then again, a lot of people go up and down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's normal because when we're breathing, so yeah. we, when we take uh, a, breath in, a breath in, we go up. If mm -hmm. we exhale, we go down. Mm -hmm. So normally when you inhale, up, exhale, down. So you have to find a neutral point. And one of the tricks we learn to our students is that you have to be uh, neutrally buoyant with almost full lungs. So when your lungs are full, you, you can't uh, race anymore. So mm -hmm. you, you stay at the same level. That's, that's all the idea about. Yeah. But um, there's also difference between breathing at the surface and breathing underwater. So normally we don't think about breathing. That's something normal. We do it without thinking yeah. about it. But underwater, the, the breathing pattern has to be different. So um, normally what we are teaching our students is to uh, the interval between two breaths mm -hmm. has to be longer than normal. Mm -hmm. So it can be 10, 20, may maybe 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. And then you have to inhale very quickly and exhale also very quickly. And then you, you stay at the same level with full lungs like this. That's okay. all idea, but of course it's not easy to, no, to do it. This yeah. is of course the theory, yeah. but I think it takes a lot of practice well, to do so. Yeah, we have of course a course to, to learn it. It's called the specialty peak performance buoyancy course. Mm -hmm. And there we learn all what I told about. So the, the buoyancy, the, the trim, the, the weighting, the uh, breathing. And we learn it really with, with counting the time effect. So you, you have to be conscious about the, the new pattern. Yeah. It's, it's not, it's not gonna, going to happen like this. You have to learn it, really, yeah. and be busy with it. That's uh, quite important, yeah. Okay, Johan, thank That's you for those tips. Okay, thank you. Hey, you at home, thank you for watching our show. I hope to see you next week. Yeah.